morning it's uh, Sunday 30th of September 2018 and I've arrived at this place to come and see uh, the model railway exhibition the Lindney model railway show this one was O gauge Double O gauge with uh, some very interesting uh, trains to pull. Interestingly, I've loaded uh, wagons and a lovely rate of carriages there. Here is a fiddle yard and there's a control panel. This one was a very small but very inter interesting little layout on a board of not much bigger than about three foot six by three foot six. The details are uh, really good. Have a sneak peek on the battery pack in these two models. The Lego. I'd heard about these before, but I'd never seen one. This is a Lego layout. Um, not a lot of detail on it, but it's fun to see. We've never seen one before. That is just like uh, his uh, control is by um, Bluetooth for this, where these two are infrared. And if anybody knew, I have one in a modern house. So I bought a simple over with a controller and a fan. Half a door. Another double O gauge, I think it was double O gauge. Um, very simple track layout. Uh, interesting scenery. Again, beautifully done. 
was just to try it. It was short stop on it and it's perfect. Challenge it, the Blue Pullman did once run to Aberystwyth. Did it for the Institute of Mechanical Engineers at a conference and it ran from Waterloo to Newport, because you're not professors and scientists on the way. Reversed at Newport after the yeah, out of it. That's Shrewsbury we reversed and went down the Cambrian. I know because we made a flight up in all the way to Aberystwyth. I rather like this uh, caravan park down by the river. That was nicely done, that uh, old tower there. What the work in that. You can get it, because I'm saying to any driver, you can drive any local. Because some idiot tried it with the paces and things. Why have you got a great fever on the whole set of paces? And there's a look at their field yard behind the scene. The chap was uh, building a, a Swiss thing, and uh, we got a long way to go. But it was his first outing with the um, modulars that made up the uh, table on the out. So he was testing that HO gauge, trains very, very smoothly. Even that little one there, I was very proud of that. This one's uh, an offset figure eight layout. Very detailed with trees and scenery was beautifully done. Trains run very smoothly. It was operated by two young lads from Oxford. Now, this is a beautifully detailed diorama. And uh, the chap had built all the tracking and the points turn out, they built them all himself, made from scratch. The other impressive thing about this uh, diorama was the was the weathering. It um, it really looked good. So was in the switch rails. And you here you can see the uh, turnouts. These made by hand. Colour stuff, very nice. Um, Don't tell me you made jigs and things. Uh, no, I, no, we have got jigs. For uh, I'm, I made up some. For the V's, the crossing V's, and made some jigs for that. This one's okay. There are quite a few layouts to have a look at and admire. And they all had their strong points, they all had uh, points of interest. And hours and hours of work. And I should imagine quite a lot of money too. I think you could call this one busy. There was so much track that there was hardly any room left for scenery or buildings or anything. And uh, I should imagine very complicated to work out just what was happening where. And in my opinion, I think they have to change very much too fast unless they were trying to prove their ability to lay track 
properly. It's still fun to see. Now this one has to be the biggest N-gauge layout I have ever seen. It was enormous and uh, I spent a lot of time looking at it and then the, uh, the chap who was um, running it today uh, explained how the club works and um, you'll hear him explaining it in a minute. There's the fiddle yard for the uh, layout, again behind the scenes. The layout goes all the way around that um, centre area there. It wasn't a complete square, um, there was a gap at one side and at each end of the track there was a loop. So they obviously had some uh, automatic uh, swap over for the, um, the current. Snake Bank consists of all different people and we all make our own modules but to a uh, particular set of standards which are available on our website, Worcester Engagers. Um, uh, these are all different sections. Um, this one is a 16 foot yard which is four foot sections which all join together but at the either end of the module uh, we leave a standard gap so that we can put fill-in rails to join to other people's modules. So every time we put it up, depending on who's coming and what modules they want to bring, we can change the layout. We just design a new layout, a different layout. Clever stuff, lovely. So, okay. Oh, fantastic, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. No trains on this one. It's a transport cafe. And here we have a couple of buses running round and round the, uh, the bus depot. This one was a beautifully done, highly detailed, vintage car, bus and lorry and steam engine uh, show with just that one train running backwards and forwards at the back. But the, uh, the number of um, vehicles they would got there was amazing. And they've got them in the uh, laid out just like a real vintage car show. There's the show ring with the steam engines in it.
and a little fairground at the end. For me, this one's stole the show. Absolutely amazing. The detail, um, amazing, the variety, wonderful. Um, I couldn't stop watching it. If you look on that side, Matthew, where the white, where the white, the fences. It was one of those layouts where the more you looked, the more you saw. Um, you you would keep on looking at it for hours, I reckon, and still see something that you haven't seen before. It's enough to stop it working properly. You see it back Well, I thought I'd make the most of the day and uh, I finished at the Model Railway Exhibition I decided to come and have a look here. Many years ago I did ride on it. We had a meal. The track is so short that you have to do the trip twice to finish your meal. But it's a nice little run and it's called the Forest of Dean Railway. And it says the cap is open so I'm hoping I can get a snack there. On the lower level track down there are where the steam trains go but uh, I don't know whether we're going to see one today and the higher level track, that's this one here uh, is the main line and we're just waiting for a train to come in now it's going from, uh, I assume, Gloucester to um, Bristol Well, I thought it was mainline, but uh, it was obviously not. 
Well, they did, did say it was going to go to Bristol. Bristol Parkway. Bristol. No Michael, not Parkway, Park End. Did you hear that? Yes. Do you mind if I video? No, yep. 